guys, welcome back. Thanks to shopyourway.com, I got a bunch of new makeup items, including this Lorac Pro Palette. It is bomb. This eye look comes from one palette, just one. I also used the Lorac Pro brow pencil on my brows. I didn't film my brows for this tutorial just because I did them in the last video. But for my next video, I'm probably gonna show you how I use this pencil because I really liked how my brows turned out today. I'm having a good brow day. So I got all of this stuff, like I said, on shopyourway.com, which is like a shopping community based on your social network. You can find a bunch of different beauty products, not just Lorac. You can store like your own catalogs of stuff you wanna buy. And once you purchase them, you earn points that you can use on other products. If you're a makeup junkie and you buy makeup all the time, it's always great when you get those points added up to where you can get some free stuff because everyone likes free stuff. It's free to join, make purchases, earn points, get free stuff. Boom. So if you see anything you liked in this video and you're already on shopyourway.com, you can redeem those points and probably use them towards any of these purchases. I will leave links for all this stuff in the caption. Just check below and there will be a quick link for you to find all of these products individually if you like. I'm flashing my nails. Make sure you check the caption for that because I have that in the caption too. Boom, boom, did it myself, yes. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's get started. So here's the eye look up close. I really didn't know what to think about this look. I wasn't completely in love, but sometimes when I don't love it, you guys do, so I decided to go ahead and post it. I'm priming my eye, and then I'm going right into the Lorac Pro Palette and dipping into this navy color. Isn't this palette gorgeous? It's so, so, so pretty. I thought it was gorgeous. And um, I'm using this navy color on my lid, and I'm packing it on with a fluffy brush and going just on the lid area and I'm using the fluffy brush to get the big parts of the lid and then going in with a smaller flat synthetic brush to get the inner and outer corners. Next I'm just using the small blending brush by Morphe to get rid of the harsh line in the crease area before I go in with this plum color. I'm actually going to mix the plum and the navy together when I get right into the crease so that the transition isn't right into the plum since the navy is so dark. So I'm using that small blending brush once again to blend the mixture of those two colors in the crease area and adding a little bit more blue that was lost during the blending process and then I'm going to use just plum now as I go higher up underneath the brow and use the same brush I kind of cleaned it off a little bit to go higher up and blend out this bluish purple concoction that I have going on in the crease now I'm going in with light brown again from the same Lorac Pro palette that I got from shopyourway.com and I'm using a bigger blending brush to blend this right underneath the brow area. This is a, a neutral color so it's going to kind of tone down the harshness of the crease so that it's not so muddy in that area. Then I picked up this rosé color which is a pretty color to highlight with so I did what I do once in a blue moon and highlight it underneath my brow. Um, Usually when I do smoky eyes, I highlight my brow. So you'll tend to see that when I have really dramatic looks. And then I'm just blending all the colors into each other by switching back and forth between the blending brushes. Now I am just dusting away a little fallout with my foundation brush that I use for my powder and cleaning the inner corners so they're not so harsh with a blending brush. And I'm adding that same rosé color to the inner corners of my eye with a pencil brush. And once I have the product placed where I want, I kind of clean off the brush a little bit and then sweep up and down to make sure it blends into the other colors. And you can clean up by adding a little bit more blue or a neutral color in the inner corners to make sure things look nice and flawless. Then I went in with my Olivia Palermo brush from Ciarte. Thank you guys for who left comments on my last video about how to pronounce that word. It's Ciarte according to you guys, so thank you. And I tight lined at the top and heavily lined my waterline before going in with a flat angled synthetic brush and adding that navy blue color to my lash line and blending it out with a smudger brush. Then you go back in with that pencil brush and blend between the two colors to make sure they transition as good as you can get it. Now I'm just adding a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes, nice and heavy just like I like it, and added a little bit more of the pencil in my waterline that was taken away from the smudging. Then I finished up the top of the eye with this pretty double liner from The Rock. It has black liner on one side and a glitter liner on the other. I just used the black liquid liner to make a thin line on the top of my lid before adding my falsies. 
These falsies are called Starlet and they are from House of Lashes and I applied them with tweezers and the House of Lashes Black Lash Glue. So the eyes are done and I'm just going to finish off the face adding some blush and a highlighter. This highlighter is So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my first time wearing it and I was missing out. It is gorgeous. Adding it to the cheeks and the top of my nose. Finally I went in with this Lorac Pro Lippy. It is called Merlot and I used this by itself all over my lips. Once again, breaking that rule that you can't rock a bold eye with a bold lip. I break that. That's my favorite rule to break, actually. I love rocking bold eyes with bold lips. That's just what I do. So you can go with a different lip. Choose and switch up this look however you want, if you even like it. But I just used this all over my lips. It was nice and creamy for the most part. And um, that was it for this look. So here's the final look guys. It's a little twist on the smoky eyes. So if you're like me and you don't want to do things that everyone does, you want to try something different, try that navy blue. Try that navy blue blue. If you liked this look, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check the caption for all the details on this look. Other than that, until next time. Mwah.